It's only game. Why you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central. And in this video, we're going to talk about Heidi on mobile and where he fits in my uh, interesting tier list. Now, uh, real quick, let's talk about my tiers. There's five tiers. There is the team hero that you can build a team around and they fit into every single team. Great support, great central hero. You have Milk Crate tier, which brings utility to every team. You have Stop Sign tier that you would need to build a team around. You have PV Heat hero tier these heroes that are only good in the campaign or outland or tower but not in every activity and then you have dead battery those heroes that i would not recommend to anyone and heidi does definitely fit into one of these uh i uh, I, I already did the facebook version of this video and i and i feel I felt like the heroes were different enough that they deserved their own individual breakdown um, now quickly let's go ahead and get this out of the way it is the same you know, Heidi is going to be a stop side tier hero. You definitely want to uh, build a team around Heidi. Um, and she doesn't really, or I'm sorry, he doesn't really bring much utility, but let's talk about his skills and everything in depth. Now that, you know, if, if you're sticking around after this, I've already let the cat out of the bag, but <laughs> let's kind of run through it just like we always do. Uh, Heidi is a midline mage fighter. Uh, she, or I'm sorry, he, why don't, why don't I keep saying she? He is intelligence as main stat, um, but his skills are drastically different on mobile than they are on Facebook. The the skill themselves are the same. However, the actual damage modifier is much, much higher. The damage output that Heidi has on mobile is significantly higher than that on Facebook. So just kind of running through each skill individually as a, as a recap, Death Flower, the ultimate ability, will summon a huge mushroom at the center of the enemy team, dealing toxic damage over the next three seconds. It's a lot of damage, a lot of pure poison damage. Next, the green ability is Toxic Spit. Shoots the nearest enemy with a dart, poisoning and blinding them. Blind, of course, will cause that, that hero's next attack to miss. Uh, pure poison damage over five seconds. So now we have two stacking debuffs. I'm sorry, two stacking damage over times. You have Snake Charmer, which throws Koba at the rival with the lowest health, which bites the rival, dealing pure damage. So not a damage over time, but a good solid meaty 75% magic attack damage. That's a, a that's a huge amount of damage. And this was what this would be what we would call an executability. You you know you hit a hero that has the lowest health, you know finish him kind of. And then spy camo, interesting ability, very misunderstood. Uh, spy camo says if Heidi isn't damaged for a few seconds, he receives camouflage that gradually increases his chance of dodging an enemy's attack. This includes magic attacks. Can't dodge control effects like stuns or blinds or that kind of thing. And then once Heidi deals, uh, receives damage, he becomes fully visible. So uh, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a bug or not, but he does he does dodge a, you know, a spell or two here and there. So good stuff. Same skins on Facebook as on mobile, and you'll see this screenshot. A lot of these screenshots are taken from the Facebook version of the game just because I've already taken the screenshots, but they're the same. They're the same either way. Uh, default skin is intelligence. You have the winter skin, which is dodge. However, on mobile, you can buy this winter skin. You don't have to wait for Winterfest and you know get it randomly. So this is nice. I would highly recommend getting this skin. But the magic attack skin is the skin you want to focus on. Uh, focus on. And the the order of leveling on mobile is a little different than the order of leveling on Facebook, in my opinion. I think you should focus on attack, and then dodge, and then intelligence. And even then. Even then, you could argue to do intelligence instead. In fact, I've, I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. Let's do let's do attack, intelligence, and then dodge. The damage output is going to be more important than the uh, than the mitigation, as as with most damage dealing heroes. Now, the big reason why I have dodge higher on the Facebook version is because of the dodge energy mechanic, which I'm happy to discuss in detail if you'd like. But since this is a mobile uh, mobile video and that mechanic is not on mobile, dodge is important to stay alive for Heidi, but it's not as important as it is on Facebook. So we'll just leave it at that. Glyph leveling order is going to be magic attack, intelligence. Uh, then uh, dodge and then armor and then magic defense again, you know dodge is less important on mobile It's still very important, but it's you know, it's less important and then finally the artifacts I would probably level up the ring first um, 
getting the mean Koba artifact weapon to three stars is is uh, crucial, but I think I'll probably level up that ring first, maybe the book next, and then the uh, artifact weapon last. So again, I feel that Heidi is a uh, stop sign to your hero. He is effective in campaign, but he does find some places in arena teams, and I think if you build him in the right team, he's going to be very effective. Definitely would have considered not ever suggesting leveling you know Heidi until he got these um, these damage output changes these increases to his uh, to his skills um, doesn't really bring much utility to every single team probably a good uh, boss killing hero because of the pure damage that he does but um, you know that's not much utility so I can't I can't place him in milk crate tier or in water bottle tier he's really a hero that you want to build a team around like most like most niche damage dealers are you know Satori and uh, Kark, you want to build teams around them. So um, I, this this video is a little shorter than the Facebook version, I know, but I feel like I feel like I should do you know a video for each of them because I think that I would level them differently. I think that the team choice for mobile is going to be a little different than the team choice on Facebook, and I'd like to do a team breakdown video with Heidi if I could. Maybe I combine those, maybe not. I, I'm not really sure what to do. With Heidi, I, I'm, I'm honestly not clear if there are any good solid teams that include Heidi yet. Um, maybe I don't know. Maybe maybe some of you can reach out to me and let me know. But all well, that being said, let's uh, let's end the video here. Um, I, I I mean I really would like to see some good team fights with Heidi, but again, you know the without max testing on mobile, it's going to be difficult to do since the skills are so much different on Facebook than on mobile. It's really hard to it's really hard to effectively max test Heidi. Um, and have a conversation with mobile players, I guess I should say. So yeah, uh, if you liked the video, if you found it helpful, please considering leave a like on this video, caress that like button, smash that like button, whatever, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, but uh, know that your viewership is more than enough for me. Um, yeah, I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.